Hello, today I show you top-down parsing with deduction rules. Top-down parsing means we start with our start symbol, which is the root of our syntactic tree, and we work our way down the production rules to the input string. This version of the algorithm can handle epsilon productions like this one. Epsilon productions means that there are no symbols on the right hand side, which is denoted by an epsilon. Also, this algorithm, usually like top down approaches, cannot handle left recursion. Left recursion means we have the same non terminal that's on the left hand side as first symbol on the right hand side and then something after it. In this case, this is a direct left recursion. It might also occur over several steps, like as expands to R something, and then A expands to S and something. Or it might occur as an indirect left recursion. For instance, we have S expands to A, S something. And then A expands to the empty string so that indirectly S is the first symbol on the right hand side. So this is what the, um, if you would have a uh, left recursion in the grammar, then the algorithm would st get stuck in an infinite loop. That's why grammars with some kind of left recursion are excluded from the top-down algorithm. So we have um, the items in this algorithm uh, consists of a stack of symbols in, uh, on the first position and in the second position there's an index that says how much of the input string we have already seen. Now with the axiom, we start out with an item that contains a start symbol on the stack and the index is null, indicating that we have seen nothing of the input string. Now whenever the first symbol on our stack is a non-terminal, we can perform a predict step. Um, predict means we have the same symbol, the same non-terminal as first symbol on the stack, which is also the left-hand side of a production rule. And whenever this is the case, we can, it, we can substitute those non-terminal by the right-hand side of a rule. So for instance, it could be ABC in this case. So when we have those, this item, now we can apply, we can do a predict step with this deduction rule. And as you can see, the S, the non-terminal, is then replaced by the right-hand side of the rule. And on the stack, we are left with A, S, B while the index remains unchanged because we don't see anything of the input. Now we have a stack with uh, three symbols and we continue as always with the first symbol on the stack. But before we do that we have another rule which we can use with this item and that's the epsilon production and because the the algorithm does not know which will lead to a successful trace. It will not deterministically try out all possibilities if there's the option to perform a predict step. Now in this case we are left with a new item with an empty stack where we haven't seen anything. And with an empty stack we cannot continue because we, there's nothing to process anymore. Now we continue with the second item. The non-terminal on top of the stack is the A. That means we can perform another predict step. 
and the only production rule with the a on the left hand side is this one that expands a by a terminal a and then replaces the non-terminal a on the stack by a terminal a on the stack now the first symbol on the stack is a terminal and this means we can perform a scan step um, if the symbol on the stack is the next symbol that's on the, in the input string. So in this case it must be an A. And because this is true we can consume the A from the stack and increase the index in the item by 1. So here we are left with a new item without the terminal A and with the index increased by 1. Now we have a non-terminal symbol again on top of the stack, which is the S with two different production rules. And again the algorithm will try out both of the production rules to generate new items. Now we have here another item with a non-terminal A on the stack and also this will not lead to a successful uh, derivation, the parser will try out, will perform a predict step with, those, with this A rule again. Then we have here the B at position 1, so this, um, this is the same as in this tree. And we can perform then another predict step with this B rule, where we replace the B on the stack by a terminal B. Now we have here item 8, and we have an A on the stack, and the index is, by, is at 1, because we have already seen the first A on the stack. That means now we have another terminal A on the stack, but it doesn't match the next terminal symbol on the stack. So because they don't match, we cannot perform a scan rule with item 8. And item, um, contrary to that, item 9 has a terminal B on the stack, and we are at position 1, so we want to scan the B next, which is exactly what we are doing now with the next scan step. The index is increased by 1 again. And now the passing process will be successful if the stack is empty and the index is the same amount as symbols we have in the input string. So if this is the case, we have our goal item and that means the passing process was successful and the input string is in the grammar. Yes, and that is how you perform top-down passing with deduction rules.